the whole indoctrination at Sierra King is bigger than y'all think. Yo, it's funny. I feel like people just, they just want to see, they want to see somebody melt down. They want to see a dad, a father, a human being. They want to see what's going to happen right now. If I could be gaslit, if I could be pushed to a, a limit. We see now factually that I was asking, demanding to see my children and bring them to Sunday service with me because that's, you know, one of the places they get to be. I don't, why do I have to even give an explanation? But the fact that I was praying online in a public format to see my children lets you know how diminished I have been as a father that I could even get to that point. Because as I was leaving church and my kids wasn't there, I was like, why should I have to pray to see my children? Why? Because it's a narrative written about, you know, I, I never wanted to even have to say richest black man of all time, but it's like we have to overcompensate in America for our position if we don't bow to the system that's been set for us, that's been set for all rappers and all ball players. We don't own our leagues. And they gonna keep playing with me. But eventually, not everybody gonna keep playing like that. Kim chose for our kids to be watched by other people. She wasn't with the kids. Her boyfriend is texting me pictures of him naked in bed talking about, I'm with your wife. I I thought she wasn't my wife. We went through a year and a half of divorce. I finally got the lawyer to hit the divorce. And I, why you calling her my wife then? Unless you trying to gaslight you being used as a pawn and Kim is also. It's bigger than any of y'all think, bro. The whole indoctrination at Sierra King is bigger than y'all think. Ungodly organizations. But God got this and God got me, baby. And as, as far as like, oh, he crazy, crazy. Yo, that is just like, it's weak. It's just mad. You know, it's like trying to match the shoes to the jacket. It's, it's like too obvious, bro. Obviously, this brilliance do that. And obviously, it'd be some baby bomber stuff. On one end, it's like, I'm stalking this woman. If I pop out at a game, then all of a sudden, Kim not texting me back. This baby, this baby mama 101. But I'm not having it. It's up. And I want to, as a godly person, not even blame Kim in this situation. But you got to understand that people who are controlled and compressed try to control and compress other people. People that are free want to free other people. I've always been free. I always been me, and I'm those kids' daddy. And you're not gonna muffle me, and you're not gonna write me off as crazy. We can play fair, but I'm not gonna stop using my voice. In my opinion, this is a sad situation playing out for the entire world to see. On one hand you might say these are Hollywood stars so they know what they signed up for, on the other hand you can feel the pain and anguish he is going through dealing with his situation, as the cool kids say, he is spitting straight facts, and it is interesting to hear him describe good versus evil, and how people are being controlled by something bigger than everyone else, he is letting us in on the secret society, that exist in media, sports, and reality star society culture, be safe out there everyone and God bless you Kanye, those are my thoughts, what are yours? Leave them in the comments below, please share this video for education and awareness, for the Dumb Dumb News channel, I'm Dumb Dumb.